Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So .NET MAUI supports multiple platforms such as Android, iOS, macOS, and Windows. So if you can run all over in all those devices, you also want to be able to run in multiple languages. So in this video, we're going to look at how to add language support for multiple languages with .NET MAUI and Blazor. So here we're going to use a project that we actually have used in past videos that it contains a Blazor application, a MAUI application, and then a Razor class that is shared by the two of them. So first thing we're going to do is in the Nugget packages for the MAUI application, we're going to install the Microsoft extensions localization. And don't worry, all this code is going to be in my GitHub that is linked down below. So you can go there and actually download the code or look at this specific commit or any commit from all the other previous videos. So once we have installed the localizations, we have to go to our MAUI program and add builder.services add localization. So this is basically going to tell MAUI that we're going to be using different languages. And the next thing we have to do, and I actually recommend doing this in our Razor class, is create this folder for resources. And in here, you're going to have your application resource file. This one is the default language, which I chose English. And this is what it's going to default to if you don't support the language of that specific device. And then in here, I created a Spanish one as well. And I just added the whole world for both of them. And to create one is very easy. You just do new item, resource file. You name it exactly the same as the other ones. And then let's say you want to do French, you do FR and then you add it and then in Q you can add your, your stuff, but usually we'll build this list as you build your application. So once we have kind of like our resources files and everything, we are going to go to the imports. We're going to make sure we are importing this razor library as well as the dot resources to make sure we're importing this and then the Microsoft extensions. And this is the imports right here on your MAUI application. So once we have done that, all we have to do is go to our index.razor. We're going to inject the iString localizer, which is basically the thing that makes it that it picks up from each language and then of a type application resource, which is the name of the resources. If in here you would have named it coding flamingo resources, you just put coding flamingo resources and then you name it whatever. This is kind of how you use it. So you add, add it because this is C sharp code and then you pass hello world. So how that works is going to check on the language of the device. So let's say French. And if it's not here, it'll go to the default. And if it's not there, it's going to use whatever you set up here. So now that we have set up the localizer, right, let's see how it works. So I'm just going to run it in the, on an Android device. And then here we see our application running in English, hello world. And if we close it, go to settings and change the language. And we open it again. We can see that now it's in Spanish. So that's how you support multiple languages in .NET, MAUI, and Blazor. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.